my name is Nate. I'd like to talk about this cardboard dulcimer I made. This is not from a kit. Uh, this cardboard comes from a refrigerator box. I have some paper that I painted black with acrylic paint along the sides to cover up the ugly look of the bent cardboard. Uh, there's some cotton string that I glued around the edges of it to cover up the poor cutting. And uh, it's covered with a pecan stain and some polyurethane to make it a little bit tougher. Uh, the neck is a piece of red oak with some normal fret wire and a few guitar tuners on the top. So basically the box cost me absolutely nothing to produce. Uh, it was all just stuff that I was able to get for free out of a recycling bin. And the wood for the neck was a buck fifty. The frets were about two dollars. Tuning pegs were a dollar a piece. Uh, so the overall cost to produce this was under ten dollars. I think it was about seven or eight is what it came out to. All I really needed to make it was a power drill a back saw to cut it, a rectangular file to dress the frets a little bit better, and a box cutter just to cut out the cardboard refrigerator box. Uh, so this was a very, very cheap dulcimer, cheap dulcimer to produce. Uh, uh, super, super easy to make. Does not take any kind of um, skill with woodworking, and really takes almost no tools to produce. Uh, I, some obvious downsides to it are that it is pretty cheap looking. It's not the prettiest dulcimer you've ever seen most likely. Uh, and it's definitely a bit on the fragile side. I learned my lesson about resting my arm a little bit too uh, heavy on the side of it as I made a tiny little dent in it on accident. Uh, this is a dulcimer that I think was absolutely worth the time and energy that I put into it. So I wanted to share it with y'all. Everybody have a nice day.